Today, I'm going to show you how to add this banner at the top right here, kind of like a Shopify style. It's great if you're running any sort of promotions, offers, sales, even announcements that you have going on on your Go High Level websites. What's cool is that not only is it a nice touch right here on top of the screen, but you see that it's scroll responsive. So as I scroll down, the bar kind of disappears. And the moment that I scroll up, it appears right there. It keeps the offer or the promotion or the announcement top of mind for the website visitor, making sure that if you add this button as well, you can convert them directly into clients and get paid more. My name is Rico. I run a Go High Level website agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get their more clients. By the end of this video, you'll be able to take your websites and add this very cool effect at the top. Make sure if you're running an offer, a promotion, a sale that is clear at all times to your prospects and you make it very interactive. Now for this video, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add it to my website. So this is my website right here. I want to let my website visitors know that I'm running a special offer. So if somebody buys two templates, I'll also send them two more of their choice for free. So essentially kind of like getting like 400 bucks worth of free stuff. So let me just go back to high level and I'll show you how to do it in three steps. The first step is going to be adding the top banner with HTML. The second one will be to give it some styling. For this, we're going to use CSS. And last, we're going to animate it using JavaScript. So what we'll do is click here, add a new full width section, add a one column row, and then we'll move it all the way to the top. And then once it's here, we'll add a code block. Here is where we're going to put some HTML code where it will be creating the top banner. To do this, we'll click this open code editor right here. I have this Notion doc with all of my Go High Level web design resources. I have trainings, tutorials, examples. So if you're building websites on Go High Level, this resource will make sure that they stand out from the competition. They're unique. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be clicking this one right here, how to create a Shopify style top banner that is scroll responsive. So I'll click this right here. Now for the first step, I'm going to scroll a little bit down to step one. So as you see right here, there's three different options. The first one is if you just want a top banner with text. The second one is if you want text and a button. And the third one is if you want a text with a button and the button has a image or an icon. For my store, what I'll do is I'll select the second option. So I'll go ahead and copy this piece of code right here. I'll go back to high level and then paste it right here. Now here, there's two things that we need to change the actual text, then the button and where the button redirects. So in my case, what I'm going to do is have a promotion so that if somebody buys two templates, I'm going to send them two more for free. So that's what I'm going to advertise right here. Limited offer, buy two templates, get two more for free. Now for the call to action, I want to make it so that it's shop now. And the last thing is to change the URL. So in this case, if a user clicks the shop now button, they will be taken to this page right here. So that's what I'm actually going to go ahead and copy right here go back to here and then paste the URL right here. We'll hit save and then we'll preview to show you what it looks like right now. So let me just preview. You see that we've added the top banner. It's at the top. Now, the thing is we haven't given it any styling and that's what we're going to do for step two using CSS. So let's go back to the website editor. We'll click this button right here that says custom CSS. And in this window, if you hadn't added any CSS code, this will be blank. In my case, I have. So I'm going to go scroll all the way at the bottom and then make some space for myself right here. I'll go back to the Notion doc. Now we're going to go down to step number three. I will copy the custom CSS code right here. So basically, I'll just click this right here. Copy. I'll paste it here. What I've done is that in the Notion doc, all you would have to do is just change a few things to make sure that the background and the color font size reflect your website. So if I hit save and then I save right here, I'll give this page a refresh. I'm going to make a few changes, make sure that this is black so that it matches my website. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Now to change the background of that is right here. So instead of it being the shade of green, what I'll do is so that I want it that it's black, save. I'll refresh again. So now you see that it matches my website colors. As I scroll down and up, you see that it's fixed at the top, but it's still not scroll responsive. And that's what we're going to do using JavaScript. So let me just go back to the editor right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a piece of code right underneath this one. And we're going to add some JavaScript. So let me just click this right here. We'll do code again. And here we'll open the code editor. What we need right now is we need a function that takes into account our current scroll position. I'm not going to go into too much details. I don't think it's relevant for you or you care. But what you do care is that if you go back to the Notion doc and you go back 
down to step number five. You can copy this right here, paste right here. This is the function that is going to help us animate. Basically, it's taking into account the scroll position. And then based on that, it's hiding or showing the scroll bar. We'll hit save and now we'll hit preview. And now you see that as I scroll down, the bar hides as I scroll up, it kind of shows again. So no matter where my website visitors are, they will be reminded that if they buy two templates, they get two more for free. So it's just a cool thing. If you're running a promotion an offer, if you have an announcement on your website, no matter where your website visitors are, they know and they're aware of the offers or the promotions that you're running. Now I want to do something else to make it even a little bit cooler. So let me just show you that very quickly. I'll go open the code editor. And before the text starts, I'll paste a gift emoji. I'll hit save. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to make it so that instead of it being a solid black, we're going to make it as a gradient. And I'm going to choose some cool colors on the custom CSS window right here. So let me just go all the way down to that section right here. And instead of the background being black, we're going to add a gradient background. So let me just do that very quickly. And then you'll see what this looks like in just a sec. This is just saying that it's a linear gradient. And then I can choose the two different colors to do that. I like this cool site called colors.co, which I've mentioned in a different video. So I'm going to click space, see myself if I find a color that I like, copy the colors, go back here, and then in here, replace that right there. Right now I'll hit save and then show you what that looks like right now. So now you see that on my website, I have this top banner with a gift. I have this color gradient. It makes it a little bit more interactive. You see this in a lot of Shopify stores, a lot of e-commerce brands are doing this, but you can also do it if you have a service-based business like this website right here. So again, very cool if you're running an offer, if you have a sale going on, you have an announcement, you have a special program that you wanna advertise, you have that call to action as well. Make sure that you're directing that traffic and turning them into clients. If you wanna get my Notion doc that helps you build better websites for go high level clients, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. Or if you're a business that runs on high level, that needs a website that gets them more clients, help them stand out from the competition, build a better image, book a call with me and hopefully help you take your business to the next level. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.